Southern African Faith Communities Environment Institute has lodged an appeal with the National Nuclear Regulator against its decision to grant Kuburg Nuclear Power Station an extension of life for its Unit 1 reactor for an additional 20 years. The Institute contends that the decision is flawed. It says the unexpected shutdown of Unit 1 a week ago coincides with its appeal. Our reporter Vanessa Puna and video journalist Clinton Self have more for us. The civil society organization SAFSI has appealed to the National Nuclear Regulator. This, of course, against the granting of a license for the extension of Kuburg's Unit 1. The organization cites a number of safety and other concerns. I'm joined now by the CEO of the organization, Francesca de Gasperis. Uh, Francesca, very warm good day to you. Um, so, of course, um, you've um, lodged this appeal to the NNR. Um, let's just uh, delve a little bit into the reasons for this appeal. Why are you so concerned about the extension of Unit 1? Well, Kuburg Nuclear Power Station has had a number of safety issues. Some of these were cited in, in, in ESCOM's own reports from 2015. There's issues with the containment building, which goes around the nuclear reactor at Unit 1, and also the monitoring system, which means if there is a problem at the nuclear power station, which can happen, it means that the, the um, monitors will not necessarily know what's happening and be able to take swift enough action. And it also means that the containment building might not be able to hold the problem that's happening with it from the reactor. Because nuclear power is such a hazardous and dangerous and highly toxic um, energy system, it's extremely concerning that this unit has been given an extension of its lifetime for 20 more years without these major repairs already being done. And from our view, uh, we need to have a much clearer timeline and better transparency from the NNR about how it's going to hold ESCOM to account. And in particular, be much more transparent about the issues that are being faced and make sure that the public are aware because we believe that Kuburg Nuclear Power Station is not safe. So, of course, you also have an issue uh, with uh, Unit 2, uh, which is also up for license renewal come next year. Um, this is something that you obviously, um, you know, have been advocating against nuclear energy. But also, um, you know, we've, we've seen you in the past, you know, take matters around nuclear to court. What happens if you are not given a response by the NNR or um, it, it's not favorable? Um, what would possibly be the next course of action? Yes, well, Unit 2 has even more structural integrity issues, and these are major defense and depth issues at both units. Unit 2 at the moment would only get eight years maximum because it would be considered failing after that. So these are highly concerning issues. We do not want a nuclear accident in Cape Town. We do want the NNR to take our concerns seriously. We are not... Uh, just coming from a advocacy position, we're also coming from highly technical analysis of the documents that have been shared, of the information that we've received. And so we do have a case that needs to be heard. Um, obviously, the ball is in NNR's court, and we will wait for their response because it's very important. They need to act as a regulator in the interests of the public for safety at, at Kuburg, and that is their authority. Francesca, thank you so much for speaking to me. Of course, there, the CEO of SAFSI, uh, just uh, highlighting and explaining and going into some depth around the appeal lodged to the National Nuclear Regulator uh, regarding the extension of life for uh, Kuburg's both Unit 1 and then also uh, imminently Unit 2.